Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another reading of the Bible. We are going to end Ecclesiastes. This will be the finale of Ecclesiastes 10 through 12. <clears throat> Excuse me. 10, 10, uh, 10 through 12. 12. This is chapter 10, verse 1. Dead flies cause the ointment of the ap apothecary, uh, apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. So doth a little foul folly him who is in reputation for wisdom and honor. So doth, so doth a little folly him who is in, okay, him who is in reputation uh, for wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Yea, also, when he who is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom faileth him. And he saith to everyone that he is a fool. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place, for yielding pacifieth great offenses. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceedeth from the ruling. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich slow in, in a low place. Excuse me. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Hmm. That's by by speaking of the exile. He who diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh and an heads a serpent shall bite him. Serpent shall bite him. Whosoever moveth stone shall be hurt therewith, and he who cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt, and he do not wet the edge, then must he put no more strength, but wisdom is profitable to direct. Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. The beginnings of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. Mischievous madness. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be, and what shall be after him, who can tell him. The labor of the foolish wearieth, wearieth every one of them, because they knoweth not how to go to the city. Woe to thee, O land! When thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. Blessed art thou, O land, when thy, when thy king is the son of nobles, and thy princes eat in due season for strength, and not for drunkenness. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and through idle, idleness of the hands the house droppeth through. A feast is made for laughter, and wine maketh merry, but money answereth all things. Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought. And curse not the rich in, in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings will tell the matter. Chapter 11. Cast thy bread upon the water, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven and also to eight. For thou knowest not what evil shall be upon you. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall toward the south or toward the north, then the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. He who observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. As thou, as thou knowest, knowest not what is the way the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her who is with child, even so thou knowest not the work of God, who maketh all. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thy hand, not thy hand. for thou knowest not whether sh whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Truly, the, truly, the light is sweet. And a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man live many years and rejoice in them all, in, rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, 
for there shall be many, all who cometh is vanity. All that cometh is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer in, cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of mine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou, that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. Therefore remove sorrow from thy heart, and put away evil from the flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Last chapter, chapter 12. Remember thou thy creator, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw near or nigh, when thou shalt say, thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong, man, strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And those who look out of the windows be darkened. The doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding gr grinding is low. And he, sh and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Also when they shall be afraid of that which is high. And fear sh shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden. And desire shall fall, because man goeth to his long home. Long home, and the mourners go about the streets. Or ever the silver cord be loosened, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Vanity of vanity, saith the preacher, all is vanity. Moreover, because the preacher was wise, he, sh he still taught the people knowledge. Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was upright, even word of truth. The words of the wise are as goats and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. Further, by these, by these my son, be admonished. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a re weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret thing, whether it is good or evil. And that ends Ecclesiastes. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.